Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're gonna check it out if we can make some accurate looking websites with Midjourney. So let's see what we're gonna do for the first prompt. I'm gonna go with slash imagine. I'm gonna go with a professional website with a composition made of Apple banana and what else orange with pastel colors good and i also gonna go with ux ui but i also gonna include the dribble because on dribble you can find mostly these beautiful ux ui designs i'm gonna go with enter and i also gonna copy paste this because right now it's gonna create the images in a square so i also want to create the images on a landscape image so i'm gonna go image imagine enter control v space line line ar space three by two so let's see what we got we got the square option which actually it gave me like pretty nice results the second one looks decent but at least at the second version it has a decent composition Okay, we also got the landscape here. As you can see, it also stretched it out horizontally. You can see it in the second example or the third example. The third one is beautiful, by the way, and also the second one. So in landscape mode, these websites actually look way better rather than squeezed in a square. I'm also going to upscale one of these and see what happens. I'm going to copy paste this and try to include something more imagine control v and i also going to include somewhere here pastel colors root beverage in a bottle let's see what happens until that let's see how these guys look wow it's pretty nice let me tell you that the colors are really good and the composition is really good and the quality also is pretty nice off the fruits of course this looks more like a website who yeah look at this it really did what i expected wow at least some of these now you might say that uh, it's not a, not even a website because you know it only shows like the fruits and the beverage but we also can customize that a little bit more so what i'm gonna do is select all the prompts i'm gonna press ctrl c type in slash imagine enter ctrl v and i'm gonna add some more details a professional website i don't know with menu bar I'm gonna emphasize with big menu bar. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna include header, banner. Let's just see what happens. And here we have it, guys. It actually did emphasize the menu and the details. It is bigger, it is nicer. Now I basically put in a rectangle on the left or on the right. It's actually pretty good. It's decent. So mainly this is how I work with the website prompts. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.